Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. And we have a lot to talk about today, but before I get into that, I want to say something else. So, I am a NASCAR channel. I make NASCAR videos primarily. I, I do some other stuff. I do some other video games, and I do some other racing games and stuff. But I am major majority a NASCAR channel. However, my friend Luke today launched a channel. It's called Your Typical american f1 fan where he's gonna do some do some f1 content and stuff on there his first video came out today at the time of recording he has three subscribers but i want to get him up there so i'm gonna leave a link to his channel down in the description if you like f1 or racing in general or just want to support me and my friends definitely go subscribe to that channel and yeah with that being said you know Make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and in the background you'll see I have a new custom car, uh, I made it on Thursday night after Trace McSorley got into the game, it's based on Trace McSorley, so let me know down in the comments what other you know famous athletes and stuff you want to see cars of, because I thought this was really fun to make and just a nice little idea, and I want to make more athletes, so let me know who else you want to see. But with that being said, the actual topic of today's video is more of a little bit of complaints, I guess, about NASCAR Heat 5 and NASCAR Heat in general. And it's not a huge deal, but it's it's kind of immersion breaking. And this comes from a place of like goodwill, you know, like I just hope this happens. I'm not saying that NASCAR Heat 5 is bad or anything like that. I just think that this small detail that honestly would not be very hard to put into the game because we've seen it put into every single other NASCAR game basically besides the Heat games. It would make the game so much better. So with that being said, you know, let's just get into it here. Cautions and crashes in NASCAR Heat 5 are severely lacking. And that's for a couple reasons. My main thing is that... So, well, let me give you a little bit of backstory. So today... I played around five hours of NASCAR 14. If you're a long time viewer of the channel, I have a retrospective on that game, and you guys know that I love that game. That game is very close to me. I think it's the best NASCAR game of all time. That or NASCAR 15, they're essentially the same thing. So, I played that game for a long time today, and there's a lot of reasons why that game, in my opinion, has much more replayability than NASCAR Heat 5, but one is the way that cautions work in crashes. So there are multitudes of problems with the crashes and cautions in NASCAR Heat 5. The first that I want to talk about is that the actual crashes in NASCAR Heat 5 are really disappointing. Like there's one aspect of the NASCAR Heat 5 crashes that I do really enjoy and it's on tracks like Talladega. Like you see it come out a lot in the Wreckfest challenge. But on tracks like Talladega, when you wreck, there's a good chance that if you hit it right, you're going to blow over, which is really good physics, and I really, really like how that works. That makes races at Talladega so much more fun, especially if there's, like, wrecks. However, that is held back, right, by the way that cautions work. And, and with that being said, though, that's the good part of crashes. The bad part is that... Unless you play without assist, which I highly recommend, by the way, I know it sounds kind of daunting, especially if you're if you're not that good at the game. Like I'll I'll say it myself, I'm not super good at NASCAR games. I'm I'm, you know, like serviceable, but I'm not that great. So I used to play with assist. Then when I started my league, we played without assist, and I haven't gone back since. And I really enjoy the crashes without assist because it seems like everything is just more loose and hard to control with your car and with others which is really nice because part of the problem with the normal thing is if you play on like certain most settings or like with assists all the cars almost seem like they're on rails and it's super easy to control and the crashes are just really lacking i they really the good news is with the next nascar game they're updating the engine which is huge. I, I think that this game absolutely needs an up engine update. Uh, hopefully we get better crash physics and stuff like that. One thing I will say that this game has over NASCAR 14 is that 
the damage model is much better. Like, I used to think the damage model on that game was awesome. Going back, oof, no, not good, not good. The damage model in Heat 5 actually is not that bad. It could use a little bit of, like, touch-ups with, like, paint and stuff, you know? Like, NASCAR 14, again, I'm going to ma be making a lot of comparisons, so I apologize for that, but... That game, you can, like, scrape off the paint and all that crazy stuff. You can't do that at all in this game, which is a little disappointing, but... So that's that's that. That's the damage model in this game is better, but that's besides the point. The other problem lies within the cautions themselves. Okay, and I have two major gripes with this. The first is that the settings that you can pick when it comes to cautions are really lacking. It's either relaxed or strict, which I know a lot of people have also made this complaint, and I understand why it could be hard, but if it's strict, if people, like, bump into the wall or something really minuscule happens, you're going to get a caution, and it makes online racing with strict cautions is borderline impossible and just racing in general without with strict cautions isn't very fun because anything that happens is just caution but relaxed cautions which is the other side unless you go no cautions of course is it takes i believe two cars so if you just like spin out off the track or whatever you're you're gonna be so far behind that you can't really do anything about it so that makes it's either online racing is impossible because it's just cautions or essentially it's unfair because if anything happens your race is basically over so i they really need to add something in the middle you know like a realistic caution setting because realistically neither of them are realistic right strict they're just way out of proportion but relaxed things cars can be like flipping and there will be no caution so that's that's a huge problem honestly for the game that that kind of takes a lot of the replayability and fun out of it this game has such like rich gameplay but there's st things just holding it back like the plate racing is excellent but this next issue completely ruins the best part of plate racing, right? So, essentially, if you race in in this game, right? And let's say you're racing on relaxed, or yeah, let's say you're racing on relaxed. This this problem is not as bad on relaxed, but this is my biggest gripe with the with the game. If you're racing on relaxed and a couple cars in front of you spin out, right? And there's 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 a wreck in front of you, and you're like you're like oof oof this is this is gonna be troublesome, and you're getting ready. This happened to me today on NASCAR 14, and a bunch of cars are spinning out in front of me, and I just weave my way through the pack, get through it without a scratch. It was the best moment of all time. But in this game, if that happens, it just snaps into caution every all the cars are on rails so there's no like actual crashes kind of everything just goes into on rails half the time it just sends you flying directly at the car in front of you and you just slam into them at full speed like it's the physics are not good and like like what i said earlier about the talladega blowovers or whatever that's completely undermined by the fact that you can't you can't partake in that, you know, you can't control it, it just goes immediately to yellow flag, and then you're on rails, and then, so, so you can't really do anything, you know what I mean, you're not in control, which isn't the way that this game should be done, and that's, that's my biggest problems with the cautions, is that you're not in control, it's basically just RNG, and hope you don't absolutely body slam somebody into the next dimension. You know what I mean? So that's basically my biggest problems with cautions. I think cautions desperately need to be reworked in in the next NASCAR game. And I think they will be, which is good. But that's just that's just my gripe, I guess. There's not really much to say about this video because obviously I have zero influence and nothing is going to be done, but I just thought that it's a point that should be, you know, brought up. So with that being said, you know, 
that's the video for today. I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe day. Make sure you leave a like if you ha if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're staying safe out there. This has been Decaf Dr. Thunder, and I will see you guys tomorrow.